Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Eevee. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so press X to delete the default cube, then go to Add, Mesh, and then let's add a sphere. Then go into the modifiers, add a subdivision surface modifier, and increase the number of subdivisions. And then let's add smooth shading as well. And then press G, then Y to grab the sphere on the Y axis. And then let's add the plane. So go to add, mesh and add a plane. And then press S to scale. And in order to add the waves, we first need to subdivide. So go into edit mode, press W to subdivide. And then set it to 100 cuts, which is the maximum and then press W once again and subdivide one more time. And then go back to object mode. And then we're going to animate the sphere. So select the sphere. And then press N to open the transform settings. And then press I to keyframe the location. And then let's go to frame 125. And then press G, then Y to grab the sphere on the Y axis and then press I to keyframe the new location. And then let's go to the last frame, and then press G, then Y to grab the sphere on the Y axis, and then press I to keyframe once again. As you can see, we have the animation, so now it's time to add the waves using the animation. And you can press S to scale up the sphere if you want it to be bigger. And then let's go into the physics settings, and then Enable dynamic paint, and then set it to brush. And then set the wave type to force, which is uh, sort of the equivalent to an obstacle in a fluid simulation. And then select the plane. And then once again, dynamic paint. Add canvas, and then set the surface type to waves. And then increase the number of substeps to increase the animation smoothness. And then enable open borders, which means that the waves moves out of the plane instead of bouncing back. And uh, then let's save the file before we bake. So give the uh, file a name, save it wherever you want on the computer. And then go down to cache and bake the animation. And as you can see, we have the waves. So uh, the next step of the tutorial will be to add the lighting and render the animation. So well, let's start off by going into the world settings and uh, add an environment texture. And click open. And uh, this background image is included in Blender 2.8. So you can find it in the Blender 2.8 folder or you can download it directly from our website if you can't find the folder. And then select the sunrise image. And if you can't find it, just go to my website and download the sunrise image. And then select it, open it. And as you can see, we have the background image. So uh, let's add a new material. And then set it to glossy. And then decrease the roughness. Let's make it uh, completely white. And um, as you can see, we have the basic glossy shader. So let's delete the light source, so X to delete. And uh, enable screen space reflections. And then enable refraction as well. And instead of using the background image as the background, we can add a uh, transparent background, so go to film, and then uh, enable transparent, and uh, then select the uh, sphere, and uh, add a new material, set it to uh, glossy, decrease the roughness, and uh, add a color, I'm just going to add orange, and then select the plane, and add smooth shading for the plane. Okay, so let's uh, set up the camera. So press numpad zero to uh, look through the camera. 
and then go into view and lock the camera to view. And then we can hide the overlay to see what it looks like. And uh, now it's time to set up the output settings. So uh, go into the output settings. Let's change the frame rate to 30 FPS. Select a folder for the final animation. Give the animation a name. And then we're going to set the file type to AVI JPEG. And uh, let's increase the quality to 100%. And then go to render and set the display mode to the image editor. And I click render and then render animation. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.